Hey, hey, you guys. Welcome to Black Span. It is me, Nikki. Am I your host? I'm your host with the buzz. No, <laughs> I'm here real quick because I kind of want to um, talk to you guys. <sighs> Did I look strange? Okay, I will not. I kind of want to talk to you guys about the black family and the fact that it no longer exists. Now, of course, we know that um, feminism played a part in it. We know um, that, uh, what is that other thing called that we did, that crazy shit? Um, when we start living with them, uh, desegregation <laughs> played a part in it. Um, we also know that, um, the promotion of inbreeding, I said inbreeding, of mixed race breeding played a part in it. And we also know the welfare system played a part in it. But I just want to take a minute to dote on personal accountability because the only way to get over the problem is to be personally accountable for the issue at hand and then go and try to change that issue. You know what I mean? Like we can blame feminism. Oh, they took the woman out the house and told her she needed to work and all their stuff even though she didn't have a problem with her man. White folk had a problem with their men. Oh, black men want to be socially acceptable so they pushed the um, desegregation agenda and you know, black women saw that as a a retract in the movement and um, the uh, energy disseminated. Uh, we can say that, we can say a lot of things, but at the end of the day, we are 153, 52 years, 53. We're 153 years out of slavery, and we can't keep going back. We have, we're 68 years from when feminism and desegregation and, you know, all that stuff happened. We're about, yeah, about 68 years past all of that. Mm, okay, maybe 50. So, at what point are we going to say, you know what, some of this is our doing, okay? We are falling for the propaganda against our own people, and you got black men. I want to be with um, black women because, quote unquote, they can get treated better. You have uh, black women uh, desperate to be with someone because black men don't want them, so then they're going out and getting whoever they can get. You know what I'm saying? We have colorism that um, we're masking as preference. And we're just not taking responsibility for none of the actions, none of the, the genocide that we're committing upon ourselves. And I think it's quite sad, and that's how come it's been such a successful campaign. Because it's like, okay, get the niggas to fuck, fuck themselves over so they can no longer say the man doing it. They can no longer say, you know, it's, it's a, oppression. You know, we, we can't blame the colonizer for our issues if we're doing the shit to ourselves. If black men are willing, willful, willful. <laughs> I'm just going to look down and grab an earring. If black men are willfully marrying outside of their race and procreating and making mixed race children and not black children, then who are, who is going to be at fault? It's going to be the black man that chose the white bride or the Hispanic bride. Right? You know? So at what point are we going to, are black men going to say, you know what? I don't think so. At one point, are we going to take the 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 reins of where our own race is going and say, you know what? Now nah, I'm, I'm gonna raise my son to not do this. I put a pay, a post on my internet on my social media, and the post said, "Black men won't let a dog or black people." I'm not sure how I phrased it. I'm paraphrasing right now. Um, that black people won't let their pit bull mate with a Labrador, but they'll let their children mate with the opposite race with another race or outside of their race it was something to that magnitude and so many people was like how you gonna make a, a, a child do something you can't make nobody love who they love but you could raise them with a certain amount of decorum and a certain amount of respect for their own people to the point where they only want to marry their own people you know what i'm saying raise a child up in the way that they should go you know parents act like oh my child is a person they're gonna make their own decisions they're gonna make decisions based on the lessons that you have taught them Okay, let's not be coy, you know what I'm saying? Let's not act like we are fucking stupid. You know what I mean? So at what point are we going to say, you know what, enough is enough. We need to actually build our communities up and we need to stop tearing them down. And in order for us to do that, we need more people. Mixed race people are not our allies. Those have, let me tell you something. There is a reason why our successful brothers and sisters are, are 
put in a bird's eye view of the white race. You know, whether it's an Italian, a Spanish-speaking European, a French-speaking European, a uh, uh, English-speaking European. It's the reason why they're put in the faces of Europeans. I went to a, a couple basketball parties back in my youth. And one thing I noticed is that, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I used to bop a little B, you know what I'm Get a little VIP, you know what I'm I was a little stunner, but I was young, honey. But anyway, so uh, one thing I realized by being in them basketball parties is that there were no white i mean there were no black women especially no one that is my hue you know what i mean and the few black skin girls that i did see there they were being dogged out mistreated pregnant left behind side they were being side piece not wifed you know but the white women that were there it's like they were breaking their necks to get to them i had this one dream i don't know if i was dreaming or if i was remembering i don't know i was drunk by the time i went to sleep you know i drank whiskey on the weekend sometime and um in the dream we were, I was I was being put out of a party because I wasn't light skinned and I had my camera showing how all the dark skinned girls was in the hallway saying we can't come in I can't come in all the white girls being allowed in and I was like look it ain't number rich black people black men in there look y'all want to know how come they get with these white girls because we not even allowed in their space you see what I'm saying I don't know if that was because I was I was thinking about that for a video or what it was but. We are not allowed in their space. And that is because in order for the mixed race, the octoroons, the, the quadroons and all those, the blue vein society, um, in order for them to adequately keep what the colonizer has in place going, is they have to have more than just the looks. They have to have the money, the appeal to make us want to be them. Envy and jealousy and aggression are the things and are the things that they kind of use to control us. It's the same thing that is on, on the plantation. You see what I'm saying? So, um, to make us be better niggas so that we could try to be where they at. So, we have to kind of understand that. So, once we understand that we're not allowed in their spaces for a reason, it ain't because, you know, no, no, no. It's it's not because that they are they naturally attracted to white women. When they getting fucked up, then they getting to, they getting to know somebody, getting to meet somebody. They just getting into money. They're already brainwashed uh, to a certain way of thinking. So, when they get there, they're not tripping on no black woman being in the place. You know what I'm saying? And the ones that are, those are the ones that be on second string, don't get to start, and stuff like that. Have you noticed that most of the NBA players, for example, I'm just going to use them for an example, that are married to black women aren't the starting lineup? Especially when they're married to darker hue black women. I saw a face on Facebook where they was dragging LeBron white right? trying to say she was basic. Like, what the fuck? She's supposed to spend all her men money on clothes, and they trying to rebuild their people? They're trying to buy schools and educate and all this other shit. Like, come on, y'all. We have to take personal responsibility for the negative propaganda campaign that's out there against us that we are perpetuating. We are affording those memes and laughing and joking at each other's expense and then get mad when somebody else call us nigga or treat us like niggas when we treat each other like niggas. We don't hold ourselves to a higher level of respect in our own community. So we can't expect other communities to do it just because, oh, because it's the right thing to do. Niggas don't respect themselves, so why do we respect them? Black people treat each other like niggas. They call each other like niggas. They're very dirt baggage towards each other. Black men don't want to bear black women. Black women don't want black men. Like, they are lost people. They ain't shit. All we can do is make money off of them and just grant them passage to stay here as long as we benefit off of them. This is how we're looked at by the dominant societies. And make no mistake, Europeans are losing their grip on us, which is why Asians are coming in so fucking strong. They're starting in Africa, and once you take over the resources in Africa, the other things that the UK controls or the British and the freaks control a fall by the motherfucking wayside. You know what I'm saying? So understand that. Understand that the New World Order, you know, it sounds so conspiratorial, but New World Order is on the way. Now, where we gonna be at when it comes? You know what I'm saying? It's time for us to close ranks. You know what I'm saying? We're not going to close ranks by being petted towards each other, trying to get light-skinned, curly-haired kids. What's the infatuation with light-skinned kids? White people, I seen a white bitch. Let me tell you something. I seen a white lady on fucking, on the news that voluntarily gave birth. She got a white lady with a white husband. Uh, adopted two bad kids. I found out they was a bankruptcy at the time of the, uh, the adoption. I don't think it's a coincidence. You know what I'm saying? When you adopt a black kid, you get you get money, money. 
Okay? Because they automatically assume that black kid gonna come with problems. You get a check. And they don't get no crack, baby, something like that. You get twice the check. Okay, so anyway. So, um, they got the two mixed mixed race little girls, right? Bam. They look mixed race. They could just be light skinned. I don't know. They could just be light skinned Negroes. And then they decide to have some more kids, the um the science, the test tube boy. So they decide to go and get black donor eggs. I guess the lady was infertile. Black donor eggs. And they went high and low to get black donor eggs. So now they got four mixed race children. Okay, so I can understand the ad adoption. Okay, we're going to let them make it on the adoption. Those white kids out there need homes too. We're going to let them make it on the adoption. But when you decide to procreate, you purposely pick a black egg. Come on, man. So, um, we have to kind of, and they say it's because they want all the kids to look like, I bet the fuck you do. Because when white people raise mixed race children, they are not loyal to us. They are loyal to the race that raised them. Obama was not loyal to us. He was loyal to his fucking mama. He wasn't loyal to his Kenyan daddy, to his Kenyan nation. He was loyal to his mama and the agenda that they had put forth. He was loyal to the European culture and to withstand that to keep that in place the same way with us having to rise against that okay so you know we have to kind of hold each other responsible for the fact that we treat each other like shit we got to be better towards each other we have to treat each other kinder we have to understand and see the beauty in one another we got to stop trying to breed out these genotypical features we are causing our own demise by allowing the black family to continue to be almost non-existent. Okay? And the black family is a black woman, a black man, and children. It is the Holy Trinity. Okay? The Holy Trinity is the black man, the black woman, and the child. Make no mistake. Don't let them tell you it's the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. There is no way that three masculine principles is going to represent life. The fuck kind of gay shit is that? So um, we have to really buckle down right now and we can't afford to be separated based on um, religion and lifestyle choices and all this other shit, man, all that shit got to go. We have to let that shit go because they are feel replenishing their ranks with more light-skinned people. It's a reason why a lot of black people have, a lot of white people, excuse me, have that one black great-grandma that they don't talk about. That one black great great grandfather they don't talk about. Okay, those were the first generation of, of oppressors that was here to keep the status quo. Okay, that like for an example, because they go home and be rich, just like Africans come here, make some money, go home and be rich. You know what I'm saying? They go home, they go to Europe, they go to Britain, they go home and be rich and still have residual income coming from America. Don't make no mistake, this is how all this shit been running. The chief, the chief of the Cherokee Nation is an Irish bitch. The bitch live in Ireland. If you don't believe me, look it up. It's a European person that is the chief of the fucking, um, of the fucking Cherokees. And she do not live in her native tribe. In order to get a check or make any type of money out of being a, a, a legitimized Cherokee Indian, she's supposed to be living in a reservation with her tribe. This bitch is living at home where she from. A descendant of the first oppressor, the five dollar Indian. So we have to watch out what they doing. And I know this probably sounds weird to y'all, and y'all probably not really following where I'm going. But understand this: it is going down, y'all. It is going down. That's why every every time you see a couple with kids on TV, most of the time it's a mixed race couple. Come on, y'all. Whenever you see a black, and if you see a black couple, it is a mixed race woman with a black man. Or the opposite. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Then, you, y'all, we have to stop being hung up on appearances and really start procreating. And then all you conscious brothers out there only got that one baby, man. Y'all got to have some more because at the end of the day, it was those grandmas of ours and those great grandmas of ours having those 10 or 12 kids was help us to be heavily populated to where we can be taken advantage of and raped and done in for for our money, excuse me, in our political numerical value. If if all of my generation only have one baby, man, we damn near dead 50, 60 years from now. Because our, our children and our children's children are going to have none to one. Zero to one babies. Most of them are going to have zero. 
They gonna have most of them gonna have endometriosis from all the dioxide in the air and all the pollution that's coming off this meat that y'all like y'all can't stop eating. I don't eat meat. I'm big as a house, honey. I'm thick every fucking well. I eat a lot of carbs. Carbs don't kill you. You know, carbs transfer into next natural sugar. Look, watch the. I'm gonna do another documentary on health and food and stuff like that. But um, documentary <laughs> video. <laughs> My teeth white as shit. I only use toothpaste. Nigga, I brush my teeth with water half the time. And then I gargle. And then at the time, times after that, I use fucking baking soda. Y'all bullshit. Y'all poisoning yourselves. But anyway, let's go back to uh to the black family. We destroyed the black family based on the tools they gave us to do so. We did that shit. We got to stop blaming everybody else. We destroyed the black family ourselves. Yes, they, the feminist movement was a ploy, was a tool, was propagated. Yes, the segregation was a tool. It was used as a propagated. But we took that fucking shit around with it. You know what I'm saying? Just like we take these pills for cures. We took their social, their um, their psychological and uh, social um, resolutions for us. And ran with that shit and kept it up. Because we believed our, our massa. Massa means burden. We believe the people that burdened us, that stole our land, that robbed us, raped us. So we decided to align, align with them. I still say that if we could just rewind the hands of time to the fucking Civil War and let the motherfuckers kill each other off, we'd be good. But here come Harriet Tubman and all the other motherfuckers want to fight too. Nigga, sit your ass down somewhere. Let these white, these southern white folks get into it with these northern white folks over the House of Representatives and let them fucking kill each other. Shit. God damn. Anyway, so um we we destroyed the black family. We did that ourselves, and it's time for us to restore the black family. Because if we could tear it down, we could build it up. You know what I'm saying? Every single black woman needs to go get her black man. I don't care if you got to build that nigga, because god damn it, we broken as a people. We are broken as a people, and we need to love each other enough through the pain. We need to heal each other through this pain. A lot of us are raised in PTSD environments. Who was who was raised in PTSD environments? Who was raised in PTSD environments? And if you keep having this erratic, irrational as a parent, trickle over. That's what they call a, a generational curse. If it's not a curse, nah, it's PTSD. That's been untreated since we got re, um, out of slavery. Which is why if you watch my appropriations, my, uh, appropriations video, I told you that we all need psychological help as well. They treat that. Let me tell you something. Everything at first, when you think of people that don't eat meat, you would think of black people. You really would. Um, you know what I'm saying? That was the black people shit. Because most black people, like for me, growing up on a farm, our meat was our hustle. So we didn't eat a lot of meat because we had to sell that shit. So we ate a lot of cabbage, a lot of greens, and filled that shit up with bread. You know what I'm saying? Or ate a lot of beans. Even back in the day when we was poor and we didn't realize we was eating healthier than a black, that white folks was eating, but we wasn't eating meat because we couldn't afford that fucking shit. We was healthy. My great grandma lived to be 108, y'all. Like, come on. So, at what point are we going to stop being led and start leading ourselves? We have to start leading ourselves and we have to stop letting other cultures lead us or else the black family will never be reborn. Yes, they were systematic in destroying it, but we could be systematic in rebuilding it. Okay? Okay, when you groom your son... What the hell? Shit. Excuse me. <laughs> when you groom your children to be these NBA stars, these famous rappers and all this other shit... Instead of doctors and lawyers, but whatever. When you groom them, also groom them to be loyal to their race. So they can be an attribute to their people. You know what I'm saying? Instill that in them too. While you instilling all this other stuff in them, instill them the worth of their people. Not just self-worth, but the, but the worth of others. The worth of their people. Let them know can another woman love you like a black woman. You know what I'm saying? Don't let them out there making all these life decisions. Look at my um my exclusivity in the black community video. It's two of part one and part two. We have to rebuild the black family. You want to know what happened to it? Look in the fucking mirror because we destroyed it. Yeah, like I said, they gave us feminism. So what? We still have to run with that shit. 
And then this is 50 years after the feminist movement. Y'all still blaming 50 years ago on today's problems? Come on, man. We Black men ain't forgave us for that yet. Black women, you ain't forgave black men for leading us into desegregation yet. What the fuck? Let's go ahead and forgive and start healing. Stop saying that black women are bitter and angry. Nigga, our spirits, our energy is somewhat bitter and angry. Heal that. You know what I'm saying? Help us heal each other. I done healed so many people in my day tell shit. I know I can heal somebody I'm sleeping with if he laying the D right. <laughs> Was that a horse? I don't know. What, what, are these, what, are, what sound a D make? What sound? I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. But anyway. Whatever it is, y'all, I'm saying is that, y'all, we have to love each other out of this turmoil. And we have to stop procreating and trying to get these light-skinned kids. These motherfuckers is going to oppress us. They already doing it. You Most, I'm not trying to talk about it, but most, not the not the, the light-skinned women, but the biracial women I already think they better than somebody got something up on somebody. Look at, go look at, I'm, I be all on social media. I be investigating, I be looking, I be looking at the, the psychological traits of us and how they act and how they talk down. I'm telling y'all, go look at that fucking shit. Black women, stop defending everybody. Even if you want to defend them, stop it. I saw this video of this Mexican woman on an airplane berating her man, and they were saying that Hispanics are crazy. And then the, all the black women was like, don't generalize Hispanics. Hispanics don't fuck with you. They generalize us all the time. Y'all stop running to the defense of everybody else and run to the defense of your counterpart. And your counterpart need to do the same for you. We need to start defending each other. Malcolm, did Malcolm X say the most disrespected woman in the world is the black woman? You want to know why? Because black men don't give them calls for pause. Y'all hop it on the gravy trying. Yep, them bitches bitter. Yep, they mad. Y'all ain't said nothing. Mm -hmm. I was raised by a bitter crazy bitch. That's why I don't want to marry one. Heal. Love. You had a daddy that made her a bitter crazy bitch. Who didn't love her through some bitterness she probably already had. Like, come on. And I know everybody wants to say, oh, you got to hear yourself. You got to love yourself. Yes, that is true. But if you want to be with somebody, personalities clash. Y'all have to say, okay, that's one of your flaws. That's how I love you anyway. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. Because once energy come together, you, you maneuver around until it gets together to make it synergetic. You see what I'm saying? Relationships are worked it. Love is worked it. You mean, you mean tell me you, you don't think these black men arguing with these white bitches? You don't think Kobe Bryant was arguing with that Mexican girl? He, fam he don't even fuck with his family no more. He fuck with her family. He don't fuck with nobody no more. None of his sisters and nothing. You remember his cousin wrote that fucking book? Y'all didn't read that book? That book was all the tease. Look, we have to rebuild the black family ourselves. No one is going to give us any solutions on how to win this war that we've been fighting for the past 600 years but us. We need to replenish our ranks and keep having babies with one another. So whatever beef you got with the black man, forgive him for it. Forgive him for it. And you need to forgive black women for it. All black women is not your mama. All black men is not your daddy. Okay? We are going through a lot, and we have we have all these outside influences. We have all these commercials telling us to get with the opposite race. We got all these rich people that are doing the same thing that we're looking up to, and we're thinking we're going to have, we're associating their happiness with our happiness, and we do what they did. That is not going to happen. We, we probably didn't cause or propagate the destruction of the black family, but we played our part in it. And it's time for us to stop playing a part in our own demise. So if you want to know what happened to the black family, we happen to the black family. We stop believing in it. We stop making it. And we stop building it. Okay? We happened. We happened. So now we have to unhappen. This is Black Spin and I'm out. I love you guys. LD. Tell you, shoot, black women don't even like black men. They just want them for the D and they want them for that melanin so their kids can live longer because I'm these, these are some good organs we got. Telling you. Okay, I, I did my outro and I'm still talking. I'm telling y'all, man. Shit. With all this mercury and shit in the food, shit. They, shit the black sperm is almost equal to the European sperm, y'all. Look, get into this health video I'm going to do next. Okay? I love you guys. We have to undo what we've done to our own people, okay? 
We have to love each other through it. I love you, black man. And black men need to reciprocate. Peace.